Namaste Suchitrans. Welcome to the September Suchitra TV Bulletin. This is Lochna Sharma and I am thrilled to be your host. Let us take a look at the events that made it to the headlines. Suchitrans make their way into the IEEE finals in Egypt. Commanding Officer Lieutenant Colonel Tupurani Sarath visited NCC Troop of Suchitra Academy. Suchitra Academy welcomed the Italian students in the first ever international exchange program. On June 30th, Suchitra Academy hosted the preliminary round for IEEE Vices 12. This was a great opportunity for students and young professionals to showcase their fresh ideas to find innovative solutions to humanitarian and social issues directly affecting their communities. We are thrilled and filled with immense pride to announce that our remarkable projects Alter Eco and AeroWatch have successfully advanced to the prestigious final round of the IEEE Vices 12 2023 competition which is taking place internationally at the esteemed Arab Academy for Science, Technology and Maritime Transport, Egypt. Heartfelt congratulations to the exceptional members of Team 1 including Lakshit Agarwal, Samanvi Botla, Driti Vaide, Arav Mishra, along with their dedicated teacher in charge, Binu Patel. Equally deserving of applause is Team 2, including Revant Anil Kumar, Sudhyut Pakala, Tanush Patel, Kodakanshi Hitesh, under the guidance of their esteemed teacher in charge, Sirisha Devi. Let us now have a look at the prototype demonstration for both the teams. Namaste everyone. I am Binu Patel from Suchitra Academy. I am the mentor of the team Alter Eco and here are my team members. I am Lakshit Agarwal from Grade 8 and I am the team leader of the team Alter Eco. Our project is bio planters with inbuilt soil moisture detection sensor. I am Driti from Grade 8. I have contributed towards the presentation. I am Samanvi from Grade 8 and I have contributed towards the research. I am Arav Misha from Grade 8 and I have contributed to make bio planters. Let's see how to make a biodegradable pot. First, we need to properly clean a few banana peels and then leave the banana peels out to dry in the sun for a while. After the banana peels are properly dried, we need to make a fine powder out of them and add paper mash, cornstarch, vinegar and honey and mix all of the substances together to create our dough. Once the dough is prepared, we need to shape it into a pot-like structure by using any container. Then, we need to make a hole on the top of the pot for our sensor and leave it out to dry in the sun for a couple of days. Then, a biodegradable pot is ready. This is our planter accessory and this is the sensor. The soil inside the accessory is very wet. So when we insert the sensor into the soil, it gives you a light indicating to you that you don't need to add more water to the plant. But if we insert it into drier soil, it won't give you light, indicating to you that you need to add water to the plant. Namaste. We are Team Aerowatch. I am Sirisha Devi, the mentor of this team. Hi everyone. I am Kish. I am Tanush. I am Sudhir. I am Sanvi. I am Sudhir. I am Sanvi. 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 I am
by empowering institutions with an intelligent surveillance system the project strives to contribute significantly to a world that values security innovation and sustainable progress the user sets a geofence for the drone's operation the drone then on its own flies within the boundary following a random path or it navigates through predefined checkpoints for surveillance it provides live video at that point of time if it detects a threat it triggers an alert notifying the users via text or in app message with real time updates upon receiving this alert the user can review the live video the airwatch app enables users to control the drone via wifi adjust flight settings and switch between automatic and manual modes the drone has an esp32 camera module for real time video streaming object detection and facial recognition for enhanced security In autonomous mode, the drone follows random patterns, avoiding obstacles and navigating through big landmarks to the road. Our project AeroWatch has the potential to revolutionize security and surveillance. We have integrated AI, ML, real-time video feeds, autonomous flight, and user interaction, empowering users to make informed decisions and responding swiftly to potential threats, which enhances public safety and asset protection, contributing to a secure environment. Wow. That was an amazing presentation indeed. Congratulations to both the teams and the teachers involved. Moving on to our next segment. The National Cadet Corps is the Indian Military Cadet Corps with its headquarters in New Delhi. It is a voluntary organization that recruits cadets from high schools, colleges and universities all over India. Suchitra Academy is proud to have been associated with the NCC and aligned with their objectives to shape young students. In order to culminate their training, we had Lieutenant Colonel Tupurani Sarath as commanding officer of the event. Let's have a few glimpses. Jai Shriman, Shriman, Suchitra Academy International School, NCC Cadets. आपके निरीक्षक के लिए अजरफ जय श्रीमान Congratulations dear NCC members and we wish you all the best moving on to our last segment Suchitra Academy a renowned educational institution committed to fostering global awareness and cultural diversity welcomes students from IIS Archimedes school in Italy under its first ever international exchange program these italian students will have the opportunity to immerse themselves in the vibrant indian culture 
experience the rich traditions and engage in academic and extracurricular activities of our school alongside their Indian counterparts. Here's how we welcome the Italian students and teachers. Exciting, isn't it? With this, we come to the end of our episode. Special thanks to the editorial and production team for bringing this episode to you. To see how the Italians spent their time with their Indian counterparts, tune into our next episode. This is Lochna Sharma signing off. Namaste. <laughs>